Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and here we have the BMW X1 on a 72 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car first of all and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside you can see it's a five door car uh, with tinted windows and alloy wheels. It's also worth noting that the alloy wheels are in pristine condition as well. Uh, we're going to start off inside the boot area and work our way around the rest of the car from there. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that from the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. This, are, this car has also got a 360 parking camera, which I'll show you when we run through the controls. Plenty of boot space, as you can see, along with the three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. Uh, now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's a great looking car and in wonderful condition as well. Briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the digital display. Uh, over on the left-hand side, we have the speedometer, both a digital and separate readout next to it. We have the rev counter on the right-hand side. It'll also show you what gear the car is in on the right-hand side. Uh, it's an automatic. We are, of course, in park at the moment. We have the coolant temperature gauge over that side. On the left-hand side, the fuel gauge for the car. And then in the center, you can see the total miles. They are 13,746. You can change the information that's displayed there uh, using controls on the steering wheel. So you can change the content displayed through the middle. So for example, digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the uh, layout of the system should you wish to. And over on the right hand side, you'll see it says head up. Uh, that is for the heads up display in this car, uh, which it might be tough to see uh, given the sunlight, but you can see that just there. So you have a full heads up display uh, that can display a lot of different information. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using to make adjustments a moment ago, uh, over on the right hand side of the steering wheel just here we have phone controls over there as well uh, we have our cruise control on the steering wheel the minus and plus pedals so that you can change up and down the gear manually uh, on this automatic gearbox should you wish to do that and then over in the center we have the main touch screen so you can swipe through the various options up here uh, you can of course access your uh, satellite navigation should you wish to you can go back a page from here to the main menu You'll notice you have menus down the side as well as being able to swipe across. So you can pair your phone from here. Uh, you can access your Bluetooth um, uh, music so you can stream it wirelessly should you wish to. Lots of different things, as you can see, that you can access here. And you can add your own widgets and personalize this screen uh, to your heart's content by moving things around. Uh, so really fantastic system. Very, very easy to use and personalize. It's also where you'll find your 360 parking camera. So as you can see there, we have a rear parking camera at the moment because I've just put the vehicle into reverse. And we have a bird's eye view image of the space uh, that I am currently parked in here. Uh, you can also get your front facing camera, as you can see. And again, that same bird's eye view image. So very, very easy to park with the cameras and sensors combined. Down the bottom here, you can then adjust your uh, passenger temperature, driver temperature as well. So you can make four adjustments to your climate control. Uh, if you wish to, you can bring up the full climate control menu where you can adjust fan speed, for example. Uh, you can adjust your heated seats, your heated steering wheel. Uh, so very, very intuitive system, really easy to use. Uh, working our way down from that, we have a couple of physical buttons for our rear heated screen to send the air conditioning to the front screen. We have uh, wireless phone charging here. So pop your phone in there, lock it into position with this, and it will charge wirelessly for you. We have two cup holders, two USB-C inputs, and then on here, the start and stop button for the engine. We can, uh, of course, change the gear that the car is in. So we're in park at the moment. You can put it into drive, neutral and reverse are all on here. Put the handbrake on and that will put the car into park, as you can see. You can also adjust the volume for the stereo. Uh, and on that note as well, this car has also got Harman Kardon uh, hi-fi system as well. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the panoramic sunroof that we have here. So we have a sun blind that can open up um, all the way to the back of the rear seat. As you can see, that lets in a huge amount of extra light. Once that's fully opened, you can leave it like this. Um, so the light is coming in, but the roof section is essentially closed. Or if you wish to, you can open this front section as a full sunroof. And it's a really nice, large sunroof section, as you can see. 
I just wanted to finish up by showing you the paperwork that we have for the car. So you can see there the V5 uh, registration document showing that it's a one owner car from new. Also two uh, keys, as you can see. Uh, there's also lots of uh, original invoices uh, underneath here as well. So plenty of paperwork. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. Uh, similarly, if you would like a live bespoke video walk around of the car, we'd love to do that for you as well.